Hello, hello. I hope you are having a fantastic day today. In this video, I am going to be taking you along with me as I decorate our front porch. I am also in the process of filming a bedroom decor, like decorate with me video. I'm starting them both today and you'll probably see this one first. So that's kind of a teaser for the bedroom video. But I have already purchased a couple of things, so I'm gonna show you how I'm going to arrange them on my front porch. And as we get more things, I will include those clips in this video. I'm really excited to decorate for fall, like for fall time to be the first time that we get to decorate this house because it's definitely my favorite. I. I'm going to show you a quick overview of what our porch looks like and then we'll get to decorating. The lighting is a little bit funky because it's coming in through the huge trees in our front yard. But this is what it looks like. Our front door is currently brown. Pretty much everything in our home is going to be changed. We plan on whitewashing the brick, painting the shutters black, painting the door a color, which I believe you will see in this video. I'm not quite sure yet, but here is what the porch actually looks like. It's just concrete. I have already pressure washed it so it's nice and clean. It has some leaves on it, but I mean, we have such big trees and a million more leaves are gonna fall, so I'm not gonna worry with that. But we've got a little bit of space on this side, our entryway is a nice size and then we have all of this space to decorate the kind of theme for our home is like a modern farmhouse i know very original but a lot of black and white with some like earth tones i'm seeing a giant spider web a new spider web so <laughs> that's gonna have to go it's a gorgeous day today i am Happy to spend a little bit of time outside to show you what I've got. Because it is fall, I definitely wanted to put some mums and some pumpkins on the front porch. So I got these urn planters from Home Depot. They were about, I think, $46 each. They're not stone, but they're more lightweight, which is nice and we went to a local nursery to get the mums. These were $20 each. And this is the bur <laughs> this is the burgundy color, which is different for fall, but I thought it would be a nice pop. I also got some pink mums to go on the steps. These have a specific color name, but they're kind of like a, I would say like a lilac color. I originally wanted to do like orange and red, but they didn't have any of the really big ones that looked good. I wanted to buy them before they bloomed because obviously you get more life out of them. So these are smaller ones and they were $10 each from the nursery and they're gonna go right on the steps. It is now Thursday, October 1st. Happy October, although today is definitely warmer than any of the past couple of days, but oh well. I'm repping my fall themed outfit and I am going to be adding a couple of pieces to our entryway. I've got a layered doormat vibe, two pieces from Target, an indoor outdoor mat and then an official welcome mat. So let's see how those look. We've got the, the leaf flowing by, the black and white plaid. And then I have this welcome mat. And like I said, these things were from Target. I don't know what the price was. Oh, 
the that mat was I think $20 and it's an indoor outdoor mat and this wow this doormat was only 13 I think it's so cute come in and cozy up I wanted something that was a little bit different but wasn't like super fall specific so that it would last like through the winter time I need to remove the tags, but I wanted to make sure I liked it before I popped those off, and I definitely do. I ordered us these cool, like, wicker type rocking chairs, and they were just delivered. The boxes were, so I'm gonna see, see if I can try and put them together. We'll see how it goes. That's what it's supposed to look like. Ooh. Okay. Looks like easy to read directions. <laughs> Looks like a kid's like placemat at a restaurant. Okay. I think I might be able to handle this. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, I'm excited. didn't last long this is as far as I got um yeah you a hundred percent need a drill and I know where the drill is but I don't know where any of the drill bits are so I'm gonna have to wait for Joe which sucks I wanted to like use this time to get something done and surprise him we will continue this once Joe gets home today is Friday October 2nd and we just went to the pumpkin patch. We went to an official pumpkin patch. An official one. <laughs> it was registered in the pumpkin patch. No, it was like registered. a legit like pumpkin patch farm, mm -hmm. but they only had orange pumpkins. And I really wanted some white and like lighter colored ones. So we also went to this like pumpkin stand. Mm -hmm. Kind of close-ish to us. An official pumpkin stand. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean by pumpkin, an official pumpkin patch. Like it was at a farm, yeah. not just like at Lowe's or something. Mm -hmm. So we are going to add those to the porch. I think I'm going to put one on either step and then let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe the rest by our rocking chairs and then I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Ready? I gotta go eat my burrito. <laughs> kind of struggling with this. I feel like no matter which ones I put where, they kind of look random. Like I think you either have to have really big ones and we only have one kind of large pumpkin or you've got to have a lot on each step. So I'm not quite sure what to do. Maybe I just need one. I'll leave it at that. It looks a little bit more like unbalanced, but kind of balanced still. And I really want this white one to go like up on the actual porch because it's my favorite. I think I'm happy with this situation. So now we can move on to the rocking chairs. Hopefully Joe will be down for that. <laughs> Oh, God. 
not going to come through the middle of the road. Maybe you stop feeding. Here's what the rocking chairs look like. I think they look really, really good, easy to put together when you have the right tools. And there are some of our little pumpkins, my chair, and then I decided to put some of the pumpkins kind of close to the door. I think that looks so cute right by the door. And that little guy. So here's an updated look. I know it's really shadowy. I think I want, I mean, I know I definitely need something for under there. I'm just not sure of what yet. If I want a little bench, a little table, a planter of some kind. It's definitely coming together. I really like it. It is Thursday, October 22nd, and we are gonna be finishing up our front porch. I wanted a planter box to put in between our rocking chairs and I found one that I think is gonna be perfect. It's like simple, but I think will look nice. And we were kind of talking about if we wanna stain it or not. I kind of had the idea of kind of like a richer wood because we plan on like whitewashing the brick. So I wanted something that would pop, but actually I think this is a little bit darker than I originally thought. I don't know what type of wood it is. It smells really good, but it's a light wood, but it has a little bit of warmth to it. It smells so good. We have some sealant that we're probably just gonna use. I think this would look, look fun. I thought it would be a lot lighter. We are going to, well, Joe mainly is going to put this together. This is like my first time really using it. I'm excited. Today is Saturday, October 24th, and today we are actually going to be finishing the planter box. I know I said in the last clip that we were gonna be finishing it, but we didn't have time to go to the nursery to get the plants. But here is what the planter looks like right now. I think the water sealer, and or like the wood sealer that we used helped bring out some of the richer warm tones, which I really like. So we have to go and get the plants.
We just got back from shopping. Here's what we got. Some potting soil and then our plants. So this is the Creeping Jenny and it is a perennial, which is nice. And then we went with these really pretty snapdragons. I love the color and they're annuals, but whatever, I think they're pretty. And then I saw this little pot and I had to have it, <laughs> an indoor little pot. And we got this guy, whatever it is, to go inside. So I think that'll look pretty inside. I am going to take all of this out and we've got to figure out what we're gonna put at the bottom of the planter. I was thinking that we could just do like pine cones and pine straw to kind of boost it up so we don't have to use like a ton of soil, but there's a little crack on the side down here uh, where stuff might fall through. So we're gonna find something to put in there. But um, other than that, why was that hard for me to say? Other than that, it should be pretty, pretty simple and I think it's gonna look really good. Might need to put more soil in to raise it up. What, you can give me a kiss? Of course you are. Kitty wink. Get a wire. I think we need more soil. I kind of don't know where to put the other ones. I feel like there's too much. In the back corner? Should I do them there or should I kind of scoot these and put them there? Maybe I should do that.
pumpkin. Ooh, and there's a huge spider web out on that tree. So here is what it looks like all finished. I kind of staggered them. And I forgot to mention earlier, we also got some rosemary, which smells amazing and hopefully is going to help prevent spiders and bugs from coming in. But I'm quite happy with it. It looks pretty. Um, we could use a little bit more soil to cover kind of like the roots, but oh well. And then we had these pumpkins down here and we still have to kind of like put them in their official spots, but there's this green little tree frog that's just hanging out. Joe even touched him and he does not care at all. So he is uh, just chilling on the pumpkin. So I'll let him rest. Joe just blew off all of the leaves off of the porch and we got a little bit of shade. So I think the porch is ready to show. I am so excited about it. There's still some like really, really big things that we need to do. Like we're painting the house white and the shutters will be black and we're gonna redo the like railing and paint the door. But those are big projects and who knows when those will be finished. But for right now, I, well, both of us are really excited about how it looks and I'm really happy to show you and to finally have have it be completed. Here it is. We've even got our little ghost for Halloween. He's so cute. But we have our rocking chairs and then the planter box in the center. I think it looks so cute with the pumpkins underneath and you can spy the little froggy. I love that it's just a little bit of greenery and some pops of color, but just something bright in the middle. And then our mums, I need to water them. They're kind of looking a little bit sad, but I will do that right after this. Um, our pumpkins are still doing pretty well. And then our entryway I think is super cute, especially once we paint the front door. I think it's gonna look really, really good. And then getting a closer look at the planter. I wish I had about a hundred more pumpkins, but even these are starting to rot. So it's probably good that we only got a few. So that's gonna be it for this video. Joe and I already love spending time out here, sitting in the rocking chairs and having it be nice and finished is gonna make it extra nice this space in the morning and i mean really all day long is so nice it gets so much sun but can be shaded as well especially in the morning so i know that we're gonna get a lot of use out of this a lot of out of this space um as as we do bigger projects i will update you in some sort of video i might be doing vlogs as i do other projects i'm sure like when we paint the house and do all of that stuff i'll kind of compile that into a big video as well that's going to be it for decorating the porch at least for now i might like add some little things here and there but i'm pretty satisfied with it and i hope you enjoyed seeing the process and kind of listening to how i came up with some of the ideas and choosing between different things and maybe got some inspiration for your own porch. Even if you don't have this big of a space, I think you can still take some of these ideas, especially with the plants and whatnot. But I, do, I love these rocking chairs. So if you have space for them, I would highly, 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 highly recommend them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and are looking forward to other decorating videos and remodeling videos. But for now, I hope that you are having a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.